Hey gang, Doug here at Iron Village out in the Boston Mass area. Uh, today I'm showing you a, uh, an eight movement superset workout. So it's four groups of two movements put together. So this first group uh, is just going to be a push and a pull. So a chest press movement, then the seated row. So we'll get right into it uh, and I'll show you just the kind of the, the variations and a couple of cues and things like that to look for. So first exercise is the chest press. So we're going to grab the handles here. Okay. Bring them behind us, step over the glide board. I always make sure the feet are flat on the ground, okay? And then sit down. So obviously we don't want to sit down and bring the feet up really quickly. Uh, obviously the, the, the glide board is very unstable. So we want to just make sure that you uh, move under control when you're, when you're on these unstable surfaces, all right? So feet are flat, sit your butt down towards the top of the, uh, the board, not all the way to the top. We just don't want to top out here. So towards the top of the board, I like to grab underneath Okay, so I like to bring the handles underneath and close to the armpits. You can have them over the top here, just they're uncomfortable for some folks if they hit your uh, elbows and things. So when you're behind, bring them around so they're underneath, so they're in tight to the body. That way when you press, you can see the, uh, the cable comes nice and smooth here so it doesn't, it's not over the top where it's uncomfortable on the wrists or the arms. Okay, so it's underneath here. Then we're, you can take the feet off. Obviously once the feet come off the ground, all the tension is going to go into the hands. Therefore, into the chest. Okay, so feet come off. Want to keep a nice tall posture. So back is nice and neutral spine. Back is straight, and then we're just driving straight out. I, okay, you can fit it. You can have some rotation here. So I start with the palms facing each other. As I press, I'm going to rotate a bit. So palms face the floor. Palms, uh, fists are straight ahead. Okay, again, nice tall posture. So I'm not rounding my spine here. Leaning way back here. Everything's nice and neutral. Okay, controlling that movement back and forth. So we'll go about 10 reps here, okay, just bringing them back right to the side of the chest, right underneath the shoulders, pressing straight out, okay. When you finish, feet go down first to ground you, so you're stable, come on off, come around. So that again would be 10 reps of our chest press, which is our pushing movement, works more the front side. Now we'll do a uh, seated row, a couple different variations. I like to knuckle down first, so we, uh, we stabilize that glide board. So we don't want to get onto the board on our knees or on our butts with the board unstable, right? So knuckle down first, then you can either, there's different variations. We can go knees here, okay? We could go all the way down here. Okay, your choice. The higher up, the taller your posture, the harder it's going to be. So if I'm here for the row, that's option one. Option two would be knees down, butt down. Okay, option three would be knees down, but butt up. So now I'm very unstable in this position, okay? Whichever position you choose, just make sure you keep maintain that nice neutral spine that we talked about with the chest press, okay? I'll go here just for demo purposes. So <clears throat> I'm sitting pretty much towards the middle here. This one I like to start with palms facing down, and as I perform the row movement, driving my elbows back, palms face each other at the end of the movement, so I get a little bit of that rotation again on this exercise as well. Tall posture, just driving the hands, elbows back, chest up nice and proud, hands right to the side of the body, okay? Right here, back and forth for that one, for 15 repetitions.